winless run ends of a 2-0 win away at walking. Just what are your thoughts on that, that performance? Um, just absolutely delighted for the lads, um, delighted for the gaffer and then everybody who's been involved and helping with the first team the last couple of weeks. I think you know it was a big ass coming here and beating the informed team. But like this week it's sort of it's thrown us a lot of curveballs, you know, obviously with the gaffer being ill and then a few players coming down with it and been difficult to train. So it just makes it all much better. I felt like it was like backs against it. Even like this morning when we were trying to do the prep, there was a power cut at the hotel, so we couldn't do the presentation. So we just rallied together, we just rallied together, um, and the lads put in a shift and, and did the sort of the ugly side of the game, um, which, which was nice to see. So I'm just delighted for, for them and the fans coming down, what, what support from the fans as well. So yeah, it's just, just chuffed a bit. When everything seems to be going against you like that, and obviously with, with the run without a win as well. It's just got to be such a big boost to, to come away from a game like this with a result like that. Yeah, of course it is. The, the lads deserve it though. You know, even if you look at back at, at some of the performances before, you know, they weren't too far away, was it? You know, they, they were just a little bit unlucky. Um, but like you say, the, the harder you keep working, you know, the, the more luck you get. That's what they say. So the lads have been tremendous this week. Um, they've took some sort of things on board. And, they, and they've been involved with it as well. And then today, in terms of the, the game plan and how they managed the game, it was, it was top draw. So they deserve that, and it's, I'm just chuffed the bits for them. I might be wrong, by the way. I think I've overheard this on BBC York. Um, I think the only teams that have won here are Notts County and Wrexham. Until today, that's not bad company to be in, is it? Oh, no, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's, I think if you look at it, you look at, like, obviously, you've got your Wrexham, where I think they competed and did well, um, and then you come in here, and then, obviously, we've got a big game Tuesday. It'll show what the makeup of the team is and where, where we're at. Um, you know, obviously, we've picked four points up from the, the, the two top teams. Um, we've just got to go again Tuesday and see where we're at. But, again, you know, fantastic result. It's just a tough one coming down here um, and getting anything, and they're going to take a lot of points off t the teams because they're a good side. And a few injury scares today, I think Mafuta had to come out after the warm-up, there's also Alex Whittle went down, I think Nathan Thomas looks like he went down at one point, just uh, how has the squad come through this, how, what are those just precautions really? Yeah, we just we just need to get them assessed like tomorrow and, and see where they're at on Monday, so hopefully it's just little niggles, um, again we, we said at the start we, we, we need fully fit players, be honest with us, we know you want to stay on the pitch. Um, but listen, we, we need people who, who can run and compete today. So the lads were honest with us. If they felt some at the told us, we, we had loads of um, a strategy for, for each player coming off, and, and we actually even had a strategy of going down to ten men, which was uh, funny enough. But uh, yeah, I think they should be all right. Um, but but we won't know till probably Monday. Yeah, and it's a quick turnaround into Tuesday's game as well. Um, another tough game. Solihull Moors at home. What are your thoughts heading into that one? Yeah, we've just got to go again. We know we've just got to go again. We've got to enjoy today. Um, hopefully watch England on the way home, get a result as well. Um, rest up tomorrow, get get in Monday, and then, and then listen, just, just go do the same as we said. You know, we, we said to the, the boys in there, we said, look, all we want to do every week is, is, is outrun, outfight and outplay. Um, and the fans will be be happy with that, we'll be happy with that. So all we've got to do is just find a bit of energy. It'll be, it'll be good coming back home. Um, Hopefully we'll get a decent crowd in as well to, to, to be that 12th man. Just one more actually, I know David was watching today. Um, have you managed to have a word with him or hear anything from him after after the result? I've not spoke to him yet. Um, I know my phone keeps going off in my pocket so he's probably trying to ring me. Um, I spoke to him before, uh, we touched base like this morning, just just run around a few stuff and, and, and how the, the game plan looked. Um, I'm sure he'll probably give us a ring on the way back. I know he wants to send a message to the lads. Um, he put a message on the WhatsApp before the game, but I've not had a chance to, to speak to him uh, for now. I've told him not to worry about it too much because you know he's obviously in hospital, he's just got to worry about his health, but obviously he's got one eye on, on this, hasn't he? So he just needs to uh, get better and hopefully we'll see him uh, around the training ground next week when he gets out.